Yo, what's going on YouTube? How you guys doing? Um, it's your boy Tofu. I'm a little bit sick today. I just got my uh, COVID booster, so my energy is low. So I'm kind of just going to throw together a quick video where I rant about a couple things uh, because it's pretty easy to make and I just wanted to upload something as opposed to nothing. So here we go. I'm going to be giving my thoughts on boons and specifically Circle of Healing and what I think should be done. And also maybe like what I think are good suggestions and bad suggestions. And I want to kind of get your guys' thoughts. I'm really curious to hear what you guys have have to say about everything. So, so I guess I should probably explain what this perk does just in case you don't know yet. Uh, Circle of Healing is really the mainly problematic boon out of, out of the bunch. There's a bunch of boon totems that came out. They still are coming out, but they were introduced with Michaela. And essentially, these perks are perks where you can bless a doll totem and turn it into basically a survivor hex totem, where anybody within 24 meters of the totem will get a benefit based on what uh, whatever boons you have. And you can stack multiple boons, right? Like, for instance, if you made your build something like this, then whenever you made a boon, whenever you made a doll totem into a boon, survivors within 24 meters would get the effects of all four of these. They would get all four on the on the same totem. So that's essentially what it is. It basically creates like a home base. For survivors almost where they get a bunch of benefits now the majority of these are pretty okay i would argue that every perk outside of circular healing is not really problematic in any way and i never really heard people complain about them too heavily like some of them are pretty like and they're even pretty strong i would argue shadow step can be really really strong i would argue exponential can be very very strong a lot of these can be very powerful but they're just not quite on the same level of um pissing everyone off i guess as circle of healing so circle of healing is what we're going to mainly be focusing on this one in particular is what it does is it makes it so that basically people can heal themselves whenever they're within range of the boon and also all healing speed has a 50% healing speed bonus to it. So you can heal yourself and any healing whether it's yourself or healing other people 50% extra speed. Now before I get into anything deeper about maybe people's suggestions for nerfs or discussing the idea of nerfing or changing it I should probably say what my problem with this is because I'm curious to know if my problem is the same as everyone else's so I'd be really curious to hear please leave a comment about this because this is something I actually care a lot about. My problem with this might not be the same as other people's problems. I don't know. My problem with Circle of Healing myself is that I think I don't like the idea that one survivor bringing in this perk can basically turn every survivor in the game into like a very powerful solo player because they can basically do whatever they want. They can body block, take hits for each other, do whatever. Like they can take hits without really having to worry too much because they, they know that they can run into the boon area and heal themselves for free without really needing like a teammate or anything to do it for them right it doesn't really require any teamwork or anything like people can just run around take hits and then go heal themselves easy peasy and on top of that you can do it without even having a perk yourself right like in my opinion it's okay to do that if you're running a perk like self-care if you're giving up a perk slot in your build for that then i think that makes it okay but giving that to the entire team is kind of nuts you know like that's kind of strong i personally don't have an issue whatsoever with the additional speed from survivors healing each other like if two survivors both go into the boon section and they heal each other i have no issue with that to be honest even even back when the numbers were higher because this recently got got nerfed it used to be 100 percent, and then it was 75 percent, and now it's 50 percent. even even when it was back at 100 percent, i still didn't mind when survivors killed each other like yeah it was fast but at least it's taking two survivors that have to have to do it and i'm totally cool with it because they can heal each other anyway it just it just saves a little bit of time so i don't know if that really holds true to everyone else but that's really my primary concern also i would say my other concern is that totem spawns are really whack right now and i don't think that totems should spawn in really really obscure areas like for instance the totem spawns that are like at the top of the ironworks of mist are just completely absurd and probably shouldn't even exist and I would argue that the totems that spawn in like the top of the RPD library as well like I think if there's ever an area of the map that's like really far out of play where there's really no like generators or anything there like there's really no objective there for the killer to have to go near there really shouldn't be totems there right I think that's kind of silly because if a survivor puts a totem if a survivor puts a boon up there then the killer has to go so far out of their way to snuff it and it might not seem like that big of a deal and you can make the argument like oh well the survivor has to go out of their way to put it up there But it's a 1v4 game, right? And that means that the that the that the time that the killer invests in going up there to do it is kind of like It's not even kind of it is it's worth four times more as as as, as a survivor, right? Like one survivor has to go up and do it while, while the other three survivors can be doing whatever they want when the killer goes up He's the only person on the on the killer seat on the on the killer's team, right? That means that entire side of the game is basically just doing nothing while they take care of that There's no like three other people to fall back on to like help you pressure the map while you do it Like you're literally just giving up everything for a solid like 10 seconds or whatever It takes to like run the whole way up there and snuff it and then get back into play It's a very very long time investment and it makes it really really rough 
So that's my other issue, but that's honestly an issue that realistically is not going to get solved because the devs are not very great at making map changes. So I don't really see that one being solved. So I'm going to kind of mostly ignore that one. Although I think I think the best fix would be to fix totem spawns and make it so that totems only spawn like near actual objectives like gens and stuff, but then also make them hidden. Like make none of, make sure that totems aren't visible just from running around. Like you should have to actively look for them to, to find them. Like, so they should be behind like, I don't know, rocks or, or trees or like, you should have to like basically go out of your way to like look in like little inlets to find them as opposed to just like, like I'm sure you guys have seen the spawns of totems where they're like just in the wide open where like literally anybody running within 40 meters can just see it shining bright right like totem spawn should not be that obvious but they also shouldn't be way out of the way in like places where there's no objectives i think that would be the ideal fix but again i don't think that's very realistic so i'm going to talk about something else instead now i want to say before i before i give my suggestion i want to say that most of the suggestions that i hear towards fixing this or changing it usually are not great and i think the primary reason is because most people suggest things that will nerf boons as a whole which I think is a bad idea. I would argue that these perks, Dark Theory, Shadow Step, Exponential, I would say that these are great perks. I love these perks. I think if Circle of Healing wasn't in the game, I think these perks would just be very cool perks that people probably liked a lot. I think they'd be these really cool niche perks that you can sometimes get really cool value out of, but sometimes you don't. And I think it would just create like very interesting gameplay scenarios, you know? Circle of Healing is really the main one that gets most of the hate. So when people suggest things like, you know, make it so that when a killer snuffs a boon, the totem gets destroyed or something. Like, that nerfs every boon. Like, that nerfs these ones, too. And, like, why? Like, why nerf these ones when this is the only one that's a problem, you know? Or things like, uh, make it so that, you know, all boons, you know, have, like, a shorter range, of like, rather than 24 meters. Make it, like, 16. Or make it so that, like, boons can't be used more than once or something, you know? Like, changes like that that affect every totem or sorry, every boon totem are just not great. Like we should be changing just circle of healing and that's it. And also I know that a big thing that people say, and I know this is, this might be like kind of going off on a tangent, but I just feel like I need to say it real quick anyway. I know a lot of people say that survivors shouldn't be able to boon the totem more than once. And they think it's unfair that killers basically lose their hex and they can't bring it back yet survivors can bring back their quote unquote hex, right? Like boons are kind of like survivor hexes. So people find it unfair that killers only get one chance at a hex, whereas survivors get multiple chances. But here's the thing. Uh, killers can defend their hexes. Like as a killer, if someone's breaking your hex, you can actively chase them off of the hex. Like you can actively get them away and chase them off. As a survivor, you can't do that. You can't defend your boon. Like if you really want to keep your boon up, if the killer just goes there and then like kills you and then snuffs the boon like what can you do you can body block it but he's just going to kill you and then and then snuff it like there's no way to stop the killer from getting rid of it you know I, and on top of that like the the whole time of the whole time efficiency on both sides is also like pretty bad on the survivor side right it takes like what like 14 seconds i think to, to make a boon totem it's somewhere between like 12 and 16 i can't remember it's like 12 14 or 16 i can't remember but either way it takes a decent bit of time to make a boon and then killers snuff it in like a second so like time investment wise too, it's also in the in the killer's favor. Even if we say that the killer's time is worth, you know, four times the, the survivor's time, it's still worth it because it's just such a significant difference in time. So I don't think that's a good suggestion. I know a lot of people say that, but I think that's a terrible, terrible suggestion. And again, that nerfs that nerfs every other boon too, which I think is completely absurd because these other boons I think are very interesting and good perks that I don't think need to be nerfed. So on to my suggestion. This is something that I am admittedly stealing from somebody in my community. I'm not going to name their name. I know they're kind of, I know they're a little bit on the shy side, so I'm not going to like, I'm not going to name their name and give them credit unless they want to. If they want to like, I don't know, call themselves out in the comment section, then maybe I'll pin their comment if they want to, but I don't know if they will. But this is an idea that I'm stealing from somebody else that I thought was a great idea, but I brought it up on my stream one time and a lot of people seemed to disagree. A lot of people agreed and a lot of people disagreed and it was very interesting. So I, I want to like make a video out of it and I want to like, be able to have a comment section where I can, you know, have permanent comments where I can see what people think about it because I'm very, very curious. So this is the idea that I heard that I think is a great idea for Circle of Healing. So what if instead of Circle of Healing do, uh, do, doing what it does now, what if instead it made it a boon, right? And, 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 and within the 24 meters of the boon, um, any survivor that's injured in that 24 meters will have their aura revealed to all their teammates. Like it'll, it'll reveal your aura and also teammates like every survivor's like 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 healing actions and like altruistic actions in general are multiplied by like a very high number like a hundred percent or maybe even higher but you can't self-care 
You can't self-heal. Instead, everybody does things altruistically faster. You can even make like unhooking faster. You can even add like another little benefit like that if you want to. But make it so that healing is very fast, but it just shows your aura to your teammates and basically shows them like, hey, I need healed as opposed to just being able to do it yourself. That way, if you're taking a hit and then running into the boon area, you don't just run in there and then heal yourself for free. You run in there and you have to stand there and like, you know, wave at your teammates and be like, hey, hey, help me. I need healed. I need healed. Right. And then your teammates have to then leave whatever they're doing and run over to the boon and then heal you. And it like puts more pressure on the survivors and it forces them to have to like use teamwork as opposed to just people being able to run in there and so and, and self-care all willy nilly without really worrying about any teamwork or anything, right? And it would also make it a lot weaker as more survivors died too, right? Like if it was like a 3v1 scenario, Circle of Healing would be a lot less strong as opposed to like how it is now where like in a 3v1, it's very, very strong. Um, so I I think that change is amazing. That sounds like the perfect change to me because it would force teamwork heavily and it wouldn't really be like this like solo perk anymore where you could just do whatever the fuck you want. I still think the totem spawns thing suck. Like I still think having to go upstairs into the RPD library to snuff totems is really dumb and should probably be fixed. But if that can't be fixed, I think that's a good idea as far as how to make this perk better. I think that turns into more of a teamwork based thing as, as, as opposed to more of a solo based thing. And I would be totally okay with that being in the game. And it would still, the thing about that is it would still be pretty good against hit and run strat. And it also would be still really good against three gen strat, but I think that's okay. It would be significantly less good against hit and run. Like hit and run would be a little bit more viable against it, but three gen would be basically impossible, which is okay. Cause I think having a counter to three gen, like having a niche counter to three gen is kind of okay. I don't think that perk would be strong enough that people would be running it every single game anyway. Right? Like I think if it was like that, it would be like more of a niche perk. Like it would be okay, but it wouldn't be like nuts. You know, like people might run like self care builds more, right? Which is okay. I think it's fine. That kind of gives you options, right? If you want to like be the only person on the team that runs a healing perk and kind of give everyone on the team a, a means to heal each other and heal up quickly, then you can run boon. But if everybody wants to run solo perks, then everybody can run solo perks and you got to give up more perk slots. Like I think it, I think it's strong enough that it would give people the option to run it but it's not so strong that it's the obvious choice every single time. You know what I mean? Which is kind of how I feel like Boon Circle of Healing is right now. Like it feels like it's basically the obvious choice every single time if you want a healing perk or just in general, like it just feels like very powerful. Um, See, so I don't know, that's my thoughts. This is a real quick video. I don't really have anything more to say. I probably forgot to mention a couple of things, but I honestly, I'm, I'm a bit out of it because of how I'm feeling right now. I'm, I'm a little bit on the sick side. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Let, uh, let me know your thoughts. I'm very curious to, to know your guys' thoughts on that. If you guys have any gripes with that idea that I had, feel free to share it. I'm curious to hear it. If you guys have any other other ideas yourself for how they, uh, how they should fix it, let me know. I'm just curious to know. I'm also curious to know, again, your guys' issue with the perk in general as well, which is something that I would still love to, I would still like to know too. Because I think that makes the discussion a lot easier to do when I know what people actually have a problem with. And um, yeah, that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I know this is just quickly thrown together, but I just wanted to give you guys something rather than nothing for a video today. And I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your night. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Hope you guys have a good one. I'm out of here. See ya. Take care. See ya. Uh, see you later. See ya.